All right, what we're going to be doing today is a, some demonstrations on extractions for uh, a newer esthetician here today. And we're using her facility because this is where she works and it's uh, easier for her to learn when the um, um, tools and equipment uh, are uh, the ones that she'll be working with regularly. So and it's kind of fun for me too. Uh, Sonia uh, is uh, um, an, an acne client I've had for many years. Uh, we've gotten her beautifully clear, but she still does have an acne condition, meaning that her skin continues to congest. Um, the bacteria then has an opportunity to create the inflammation, and so we want to keep that under control. And uh, so she's very experienced with the uh, with the um, uh, with the extraction process that we do, and uh, is uh, very comfortable with it. So we're we're in luck there. So what we're going to do then is start with the cleansing process and we're going to be using a salicylic based cleanser here. And I'll be having the steam on pretty much the entire time. To get this skin softened up. I've already examined the skin. There's a lot of trapped sebum. Uh, in the uh, bridge of the nose area, particularly also around the mouth, which is customary for uh, our client here. How does that steam feel? Is that warm enough? Mm -hmm. Is that comfortable for yes. you? Yes. Good. By the way, guys, always check with your, with your client on the temperature of the steam. I hear there's folks out there who said, oh, you shouldn't use steam because it's too hot. Uh, has anyone ever thought about just moving it back a little bit? It doesn't have to be too hot, but it's very thorough in terms of, of um, introducing warm moisture uh, in uh, on the skin and helping to with the cleansing process. Also, it, it's very, very helpful when we're doing an enzyme uh, or disincrustation and enzyme process, which we're about to do. Enzymes like to be in a warm, wet environment at a high pH in order to be uh, uh, functioning at their best and that's what's going to happen so right now we'll just get this cleanser off I'm not doing a double cleanse on her today because she came in with clean skin and uh, so I don't see any need for that at this point but you can do it okay good make sure that we have this fully rinsed now, sometimes people use a toner after this. Now, if um, you can do that, but I don't recommend it because if you are, particularly if you're going into enzymes, you don't want to drop the pH into a range where the uh, proteolytic enzymes have to struggle to perform. We need that higher pH. We want to get up in the six plus range for that, and your toner is going to work against it. Toner will be used later in the process, but not particularly in the beginning. So, and as I said, if you're gonna use a desert crustacean product or an enzyme uh, product, you definitely want to skip the toner until afterwards. So what I'm gonna be using here is our own product. This is Preston's uh, Extraction Ease Enzyme Mask, proteolytic enzymes. So we're gonna put that in a bowl and you can see here since this is mine, I'm just going to dip in with my clean, uh, with my clean brush. But you can measure it out. About a teaspoon would be uh, ideal. Now, if you're going to be doing a lot, covering a lot of territory like the back, you may want to go m um, with more. But this will be good for where we're at. We're going to probably just go down to the base of the chin and stop there. Now, while that's sitting there, I'm going to take a cotton round and put some of our extraction ease desert crustacean lotion on that right here it's also going to be the activator for the mask and I'm doing this just to get the, the skin in the right pH range before I go with the enzyme mask here Are you comfortable, Sonia? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. 
I've never known you not to be. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So now this is bringing the pH of the skin up. It'll get it up to about a uh, six and a half to seven. I'm going to put more into the enzyme mask here to activate it. We want to just put enough in there to create a bit of a paste like that. That's spreadable. Very nice. And just a little style point, guys, is that this is going to be cold. Well, we don't want it to be cold. And plus, it's got a little bit jarring on the client when you just touch them with something cold like that. I always use the steam to warm it up a bit just to get that bite off of it. Test it, not too bad. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good right there. Yeah, that way it'll be comfortable for her when we apply it. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Just a nice way to go. Estheticians have a tendency not to get facials very often themselves. So a lot of, there's a lot of mystery about what the client actually experiences when we're working on them. I would recommend that you go and have facial treatments with other people, incognito, of course. And when you do that, park your career as an esthetician at the door before you go in and take on the mindset of any kind of client that you have, whether it's a, a, a stay-at-home mom to a, to a top executive, salesperson, educator, doesn't matter, but be anybody but an esthetician. And then experience what it's like to be a customer and ask yourself how it actually feels as that esthetician goes through the various steps of interviewing you and treating you. And, and then at, at the end of it all, ask yourself what you remember from it. What was positive about it? What did you not like? Uh, what do you, did you learn anything from it? And, uh, and that's one great way to really begin to understand uh, what the client's experience is so that you can then uh, tailor your own work to make that even more pleasing for them. Okay, how are we doing there? Perfect. The uh, Preston Extractionese enzyme products are mild in their effect on the skin. We engineered it that way. Enzymes can get a little out of control sometimes, particularly in the, right now it's we're going into um, the fall season and everybody's dragging out the pumpkin enzymes. I see more reactions every fall when that happens because enzymes are a little bit unpredictable in the way that they affect the skin. So we wanted to make sure when we developed extraction ease that we were going to have the least opportunity for client uh, enzyme reaction. And uh, to this date, we haven't had a single case of that. So we're pretty happy about that. And by the way, this is something that you can find on our website, PrestonActiPros.com. Extraction Ease, Disincrustation Solution, and also our, our ex, uh, Enzyme Exfoliating Mask. They're really wonderful for getting the skin soft, loosening up the material that we're going to be uh, extracting, and just makes everything a little bit easier and better.